Information from the Bhagavad Gita. Aparayam, these eight elements, uh, they are inferior. Uh, therefore, because they are dealing with this inferior nature only, their knowledge is inferior. This is a fact. Uh, it is not that I am accusing. No, this is a fact. They have no information. Big, big professor. They say, this is body finish. Body finish means panchatta prap. They do not know that there is another body, subtle body, mind, intelligence, ego. They do not. They are thinking this atvata, yar, fire, that much. This is finished, I see. Either you burn the body or bury the body, finish everything, finish, and where is other thing? So they have no knowledge. Uh, so they have no knowledge even of the subtle body, earth water, which carries the soul. And what they know about the soul? Uh, so Krishna gives information in the Bhagavad Gita. Aparayam, these elements, ignatu, mind, intelligence, ego, bhinna, they are mind separated energy. Separated energy. And aparayam, this is inferior. And there is another superior energy. Aparayam, it has to be to me, prakriting, para. Para means. Uh, now they may be asking, what is that? We you know these elements only. What is that? Another superior energy. Jiva Bhuta Mahava. Clearly said that is living. And they are thinking that there is no other uh, superior energy. Except these eight material elements or five eight elements, therefore they are in ignorance. <laughs> it is for the first time they are getting some knowledge. Uh, Bhagavad Gita is it is, and from that we can know that there is another superior energy who is Jiva Bhuta, the living entity which is moving the body. Uh, that is superior energy. So they have no information, neither there is an attempt to understand the superior energy uh, in their universities or institutions. Uh, <coughs> therefore they are mura. mura. They may be very much papta of their so-called knowledge, but uh, according to Vedic knowledge they are mura. 
And if one cannot understand the superior uh, energy, prakriti, nature, then how one can understand God? That is not possible. Then again, dealings between God and the superior energy, that is bhakti. It is very difficult. Manushanam sahasreshu kastit jatati siddhaye. The siddhaye means to understand that superior that is Siddhi. Uh, and after that uh, one can understand Krishna. That is very difficult, especially in this age. Uh, Manda Sumanda Matayo. Uh, they are, uh, Manda means they are not interested or even they are little interested. They are very slow. They do not understand. This is the prime knowledge. And first of all, we must know it. Athāta brahma jīgyāsā, that's a piece of knowledge. That is required. But everyone is neglected. There is no inquisitiveness in what is that thing which is moving this body. There is no inquiry. They think automatically by combination of this matter, they are still persisting on this point, and when you challenge, you take this chemical and prepare the living for, uh, they will say, that I cannot do. If you cannot do, then why you are speaking like nonsense, that the combination of matter of chemicals gives the right. You take the chemical. Our doctor, Sarup Damodar, in the California University, uh, one big professor came to lecture on chemical evolution, and he challenged immediately, if I give you the chemicals, can you produce life? And he said, that I cannot. <coughs> so <laughs> this is their position. Uh, they cannot prove it, they cannot do it. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna.